We are dragging ourselves around in this heat, but that's not going to stop us from having a new video here on that Reptile Party's YouTube channel. YouTube and on social media just because we have been moving and moving is hard. Uh, we moved ourselves to a house and we moved our animals to a new facility which is where we are right now. Uh, we're not going to be open right away. We've got a lot of work to do and uh, a lot of uh, paperwork and red tape to sort through but eventually we are going to be having a brand new facility that people can come and visit, have birthday parties at, have experiences at and we're going to be having some uh, really new and unique animals while continuing our education uh, on both responsible pet ownership and conservation. Now, uh, this week, uh, I want to introduce you to another new friend. Uh, I haven't named her yet, but I recently adopted the Spirit of Dragon. Now, she is in Shed, uh, so that's why she's got kind of like this Phantom of the Opera half mask thing going. Um, Spirit of Dragons can take a little bit to Shed, uh, so hopefully in the next couple of days, uh, this will all come off, and that nice yellow and orange scales will be uh, will be out and uh, on full display. So I adopted her uh, and another uh, scaleless bearded dragon, and we can save him for another another day. But uh, as of course, uh, long-time viewers and knowers and viewers of scale uh, know, and people who uh, have followed me on social media, um, in February we lost Kevin, uh, our bearded dragon, who was our mascot. Uh, and our little howling friend uh, on scale on Animal Planet, uh, she passed away, uh, and that was really hard. And so I, did, I, had, I had another bit of dragon that's a leatherback or a silkback, but I didn't want to rush into getting new dragons, especially if, you know, potentially moving and stuff. But uh, these two dragons are offered to me, and so I said yes. But here's the thing that kind of blew my mind that I didn't know when I said yes. This dragon is missing her back foot the exact same foot that Kevin was missing. So it's one of those things where you kind of feel like maybe it was, uh, it was kismet or there's a reason why this one in particular became available. Uh, we don't know her entire history. Uh, the person that gave her to her, we rescued her. So she's not a, um, uh, I don't know her whole history. I don't even know her age. Uh, unfortunately, but obviously she's she's been through some stuff. She's missing uh, toes on her left side too. A lot of times that is, uh, if it's the foot, it's typically from other bearded dragons. Uh, toes sometimes can be stuck shed, uh, causing them to lose their toes, but it, it can also be other dragons. So the fact that it's both the foot and the toes uh, makes me think it was probably other dragons that were the issue. But I am very, very excited to have her. Um, She's, she's a normal, uh, I don't want to say just a normal, because that's, uh, that sort of insults the beauty of the natural animal. Uh, they don't have to be, you know, further back and trans hypo and all these other things that, that uh, people, and there's nothing wrong with liking those too, but a bearded, bearded dragon on its own is a very, very beautiful animal. And so she's going to be great for education. One of the things we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing classes, and so I'm, I'm excited about doing some, like, Lizards for kids, like parent and kid, come in uh, for a couple of uh, evenings and just learn about different reptiles they can have as pets and really helping people understand uh, what's involved in their care, uh, the responsibility level, the lifespan, uh, that different lizards have different needs. Uh, even today, uh, well yesterday, when I was on Kijiji seeing what was out there for reptiles and uh, I saw an ad that someone was selling a breaded dragon because they were moving and it would not handle the move well. So it's not going to handle being bred it well. Um, it, is, it is kind of frustrating to see people, you know, with, and it wasn't just one misspell. There was the title of the ad, but also 
in the ad, it also referred to it as a branded dragon. So it's not just like an autocorrect that they missed. Always check your wording, folks, especially when you're dealing with animals. Because it makes me question why uh, someone even has a bearded dragon when they can't even pronounce what it is or write what it is properly. For those that don't know, I've never seen bearded dragons or aren't too familiar with them. They are awesome pets. I mean, she is a puppy dog. She's really calm. But they do need a large enclosure. They need heat. They need UVB. They need a variety of veggies. They need bugs. And so that's one of the reasons why they do seem to end up being uh, quite commonly available uh, from people that get them and then they don't want them anymore. But I love her eyes too. Take a look at her eyes. I hope you enjoyed meeting our new bearded dragon. I'm trying to decide on a name for her. I'm thinking maybe Bacon uh, because it was Kevin and Kevin actually was kind of named after Kevin Bacon because she was footless and this one was footless too. Um, so I'm leaning towards that, but uh, if you like that idea, feel free to, to comment. Uh, in the meantime, um, so hit that subscribe button, please. Uh, watch our videos. Uh, we have a lot of videos in from the past year and a half, not just with reptiles, but uh, all sorts of other animals. We've got a cool one coming up that is not reptile related because uh, we did get another animal from the Nature Center who is currently being very vocal, so there's a hint for the next video. Um, but, you know, the more you watch, the more subscribers we get, uh, the more opportunity there is for us to, uh, to make some money on YouTube, uh, which would be great, uh, in addition to education. We also have our Patreon. Uh, sign up for that. It's a great way to support us. You get to see our YouTube videos first. You get all sorts of behind-the-scenes content. As we are creating this Nature Center, our Patreons are going to be the ones who get all of that backstage access, uh, get to see as it comes together, the building process, uh, all sorts of behind the scenes, and also our Patreons are going to get rewarded with uh, opportunities to get some discounts on merch when we open and visits to here. So uh, all that info is down below. Looking forward to our next video. In the meantime, we'll see you next time.